In the struggle between democracies and autocracies, there have been increasing reports of foreign governments ignoring borders and reaching right into free societies. And I'm not just talking about the so-called spy balloons, but on the ground efforts by secret police to intimidate individuals in immigrant communities. In fact, get this, there are more than 100 Chinese government-backed overseas police stations operating in more than 50 sovereign nations right now, including the United States and Canada. That's according to a recent blockbuster report by the human rights NGO Safeguard Defenders. Now, in recent months, the FBI has conducted raids of some of these accused local outposts. And in late 2022, seven Chinese nationals were charged by the Department of Justice for intimidating a longtime U.S. resident to return to China to face charges as part of an anti-corruption effort known as Operation Fox Hunt. Now, the Chinese government denies any wrongdoing. They say that these foreign officers are just used to do things like renew licenses. But at the same time, they tout the stat that some 230,000 Chinese nationals were persuaded to return to face criminal trials in China from overseas between April 2021 and July 2022 alone. Now, persuaded to return sounds like a euphemism for something a lot uglier. Because often this persuasion process is coercive. For example, threatening the safety of family members at home if the target doesn't comply. Taken together, it is a stunning breach of state sovereignty and a significant flexing of Chinese muscle overseas to assert the international reach of the CCP. Joining us to discuss the reality behind these shadowy efforts is Laura Harth. She's the primary author of this report on the proliferation of overseas Chinese police stations.